What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's episode is going to be on the company van. We're going to start that build that we, a lot of people have been asking for. We're going to be installing these roof rails in channel mounting kit on top of the van. So we'll be able to put the, the awning that we have for the side of the van. So when we work on a job site, we just pull it out and work under the shade. So stay tuned. installing these roof rail in channel rails that will go on top of the van let me guys show you okay so they go i'm not sure if it's here or here but it'll start around here and go all the way down to the middle of the van over there and what that is is basically it's gonna be an in channel so we would be able to mount stuff into it without having to add a, a roof rack um it's gonna be for both sides. I don't know yet if I'm gonna do it for this side because since I don't need nothing this side, maybe along the way I might add more lighting there. Um, for Christmas, my lights, my wife, wow. Well, for Christmas, my wife actually gave me lights that we're actually gonna install up there also. Um, I don't know where I left them. I think I have them inside, but um, that's gonna be good to mount those on too also. And um, yeah next episode is gonna be that awning but uh this one's gonna be this in channel um i actually got it from wow sorry about that um from weather guard and this is the kit right here mounting channel kit i have a 130 uh wheelbase transit and you can actually tell what wheelbase you have just in case you don't know because i found this out I didn't know. Um, right here on the door. Uh, where is it? It says right there, wheelbase. It's 130. So I have the small transit. Um, big enough for me. That's all I need. But uh, there's a 148, I believe. So yeah. Uh, I'm going to show you more or less how to install these. Bear with me. I'm learning along the way how to do stuff like this. Um, I got to figure out where those holes oh that looks like one where the holes are to mount them and uh i think we have to remove this i don't know yet we'll see i'll bring you guys right. along so the kit brings the two rails of course and then they also bring these pads i guess these are under it for the vibrations and whatnot they also bring this uh silicone glass sealant i'm guessing it's for the edges around the the opening to cover it up they bring the screws and then the covers for the ends. So Ford made it very easy for this. Let me try to actually get to the back. For my transit, for the 130, there's three holes. So as you can see, I already took the little taps off. They're actually, oh, they're colored over basically like this. And uh, they go over here. If you look inside, I don't know if you can see it basically there's a thread in there already from factory so when you put that screw in it goes directly in there in there there's nothing to do under here actually let me see you can see right here no you can't so basically it goes in there it's threaded in so there's already a thread there ah, there you go you can see a thread there so that's where the bolt goes through and uh, you line it up. Um, let me mount it. Points for again. This is the 85 inch for the 130 wheelbase. Mounting point will be for this one. It will be this one, and the first one of the four in the back. So this goes in the rear. The four equal size one goes to the rear of the van. The four will go here, and then it'll go that way. Um. So then I'll grab that now and then mount it. So basically, this is the hole. You're going to add these pads in between this and the rail. So the rail is going to sit on top of this. The bolt is going to go straight through into that threaded hole. Before you do that, 
you tie the silicone uh, the silicone that they add they gave you around it just to get, create a seal so no water can get in I'm gonna put a lot, I don't want water to get in. <laughs> so basically, after you do that, you will put, uh, trying to do this one hand, hanging off the side of the roof. If you have a ladder, it will help. But uh, I don't have a ladder. I have nowhere high to go to, so I could be able to hook this up properly. So I'm gonna do it this way. So once you put it in and you seal it, make sure it sits properly. And uh, basically you're gonna put the bolt onto the roof rail hole and it's gonna screw in that way. Make sure you do it to all three, make sure the water leaks in and um, you should be good. I'll let this sit here for a little bit. Uh, you're gonna need a hex, uh, what's it called? A hex, uh, screw you can see they do not provide you the tool for it so you should have it and um yeah you'll do it to all three i'll show you guys once it's done and um yeah it's very hard to work with, <laughs> with one hand on the camera and the other one hanging on type of thing but trying to get let you guys see how that process is make sure you use a good amount of silicone and they have the little small rubber pads, I'm guessing, in between. But uh, once this is on, it's going to be lifted away from the edge of the thing so there's no vibrations. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys in a little bit when it's done. Okay, so once you install them, make sure you don't tighten them all the way. Make sure you just catch on to the thread and you line them up so the pads are lined up the same way. And then you just uh, thread them in. They go straight into the hole. It's really not hard. And, uh, yeah, once it's in, sealant, you see the sealant getting squished out. You clean it up after. Um, it's still gooey, so just be careful when you get dirty. Um, and then just do the other two, and then you jump to the other side. Yeah, once it's on, you put the little rubber ends. Uh, you clean up the sides. And yeah, the roof rail is done. Now, in my case, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the other side. But you'll just do the same thing on the other side, on the same holes. And the same steps you did here, you'll do it over there. And uh, once it's done, you'll see that little rail. Not really noticeable, except for the red tips. And um, yeah, we'll do the next project. Next video will be most likely the awning. I know it's a lot more work and more heavier. So we'll get that done. And uh, yeah, pretty much, that's pretty much uh, that project. A little mini project. Make sure you put those pads on it. You see it here on the tips. They're for the vibrations and then you don't hit the actual metal of the, of the roof. And uh, yeah, pretty much that's it. And uh, we're all set. Pretty easy project, less than 30 minutes. It'll help you have a ladder. <laughs> Once again, guys, thank you for the support. Uh, the van build is underway. We're going to put a pause on the Camry for a little bit. We've done a lot of stuff to the Camry really fast. So we're going to take a little pause on that one, on that car. I'm in the works of getting another project car for the channel. But it's very hard to find the one I want. And uh, I know you guys will appreciate it once I do get it. So I'll just take my time with it. I've been looking for almost a year and that'll be coming pretty soon, hopefully. And uh, yeah, next episode, we're going to get on more stuff on the van. 
and it's a lot of stuff it's a lot of stuff for the van and um once again guys thank you for all the support to all my transit guys please follow and subscribe to the channel follow my page on ig i'll link the i'll put the link down below i also put the link to the order number of the kit this is a for 130 base but weather guard weather guard has the kits for all our vans and it's very cheap it was like 150 bucks so it's not bad and um yeah guys transit guys and girls please follow and subscribe help me see that you guys are interested in this so i can make more videos on the transit uh it's gonna be an off-road company work van so that should be interesting i have uh the raptor grill front is gonna get done uh bigger wheels and tires um the roof rack lighting all around under uh not under glow rock lights it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be crazy a really cool off-road build um something you don't see really every day so once again guys thank you for all the support on to the next one